French President Emmanuel Macron has expressed his willingness to deploy troops to Ukraine if Russian forces penetrate the front lines and if Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky requests reinforcements. This development escalates the possibility of a direct confrontation between NATO and Russian forces. Macron's statement was made in a recent interview following his keynote speech where he warned that Europe is at risk partly due to Russian aggression, which began with the invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. The situation in Ukraine continues to evolve, with Russia claiming to have captured another town in Donetsk, eastern Ukraine. Russian forces are pressing against Kyiv's defenses and are making rapid advancements against the struggling Ukrainian forces ahead of the anticipated arrival of a significant portion of U.S. weapons for the Ukrainian troops. Macron has not ruled out the possibility of sending Western troops, a move that would pit NATO forces directly against the Russian army, significantly escalating the situation. Analysts are speculating that Russia could be preparing for a major new offensive in Ukraine. Macron has described Russia as a destabilizing regional power and a threat to European security. He has a clear strategic goal to prevent Russia from winning in Ukraine, warning that a Russian victory in Ukraine would mean no security in Europe. Under NATO's Article 5, all member countries are obligated to defend others in the event of an armed attack. If Russia were to directly attack a NATO member, countries including the US, the UK, France, and Germany would be expected to respond, potentially leading to a global conflict and seen since the end of World War II. Russian forces have been making gains in the area since capturing Avdiivka in February, following some of the most intense battles in its over two-year offensive. Ukrainian forces have established defensive lines in Berdichy after the fall of the nearby village of Lastochkine. Ukraine's commander-in-chief, Oleksandr Sersky, has admitted that Russia has achieved certain tactical successes in the area, which he describes as the most complicated part of the front. Ukrainian forces have fallen back in three places on the front as the fighting in the east has recently intensified, according to Posse Peroinen, an analyst. With the Finnish-run volunteer group, Black Bird Group, Russia has gained more territory in Ukraine this year than Kyiv did in its counter-offensive. Last summer, Russian forces are focusing their attacks on the strategic town of Chasovyar, just west of Bakhmut, and further south around Okiratine. Ukrainian officials believe that Moscow aims to seize Chasov Yar by May 9, Russia's Victory Day, which would put some of the largest Ukrainian-held cities in the Donetsk region within artillery range. Peace talks are scheduled to take place next month in Switzerland, with the Swiss government inviting over 160 delegations for the talks. However, at this stage, Russia is not among the invited countries. Switzerland has always been open to inviting Russia but has noted that Moscow has repeatedly expressed its lack of interest in participating in the initial talks. Russian officials have criticized Switzerland's adoption of EU sanctions against Moscow over its invasion, arguing that it lacks credibility. As a neutral broker, the Swiss talks will build on Zelensky's peace formula and other peace proposals based on the uncharter and key principles of international law. The invited delegations include members of the G7, G20, and BRICS.